Yeah, you get a nice in the Czech Republic. Of course, spared on the Second World War, like Prague. And you see uh, these buildings just received a fresh paint layer. And then in between, you have the, the uh, uh, not so beautiful apartment blocks from the socialist times. But uh, Pilsen overall is a very nice city, and it was actually liberated by the Americans. So this territory was swapped later on, but General Patton uh, actually uh, liberated the city here, and that's why they have a Liberation Day parade every single year taking place, and that, uh, yeah, parade is basically also involving a lot of American flags, American GI uniforms, and, uh, and stuff like that. It's a major, major festival here every single year. Oh, interesting. So I also see something new today. Over 175,000 people live in Pilsen. So the public transportation is wonderful, taking them to and from work. And 1.5 million people live in Prague. And we're on Pilsen now. So I'm uh, just realizing this is the much more scenic road to drive into the city. Even though it takes a little bit longer, uh, you have Nice old buildings around us, not just the ugly uh, Skoda Works factory, which we missed. And, well, more traffic lights, obviously, and I can spot the synagogue already um, ahead of us with the onion domed uh, roofs uh, on the spires. And also, uh, since 2002, the seat of a bishop. Uh, so they have, they have a bishop living here in. So as you can tell in a few moments by the design of the synagogue, this was home to the majority of uh, community, not to the orthodox, uh, because uh, in the end of the 19th century, they were basically building synagogues in Central Europe, more or less in the style of of churches and uh, yeah that's a very good example from the layout so the bima is not in the middle in between the the uh, community it's actually like uh, in the same position as an altar in a church so that is uh, a typical design for synagogues of that time yeah the old city is uh, coming up on the right hand side in a moment uh, they tore down the walls unlike in nuremberg but uh, we're gonna have to explore the old town by foot. So on the left you have the synagogue. Synagogue seems to be closed. And now my friends, we're starting our walking tour of Pilsen. And I have loved in coming in on the bus. You see all the different colors of the paint. You see that all of the buildings are 100 plus years old with such ornate artistry on the sides of them. Absolutely stunning. Actually, those are the only places we can get the pills and food well unfiltered. Uh, if you have the Marina Rosso unfiltered, that's more common here, but they kind of have a lid on it, so uh, <laughs> they, they don't want anybody to eat. Also notice the texture of the streets. We are walking on cobblestone and brick. It is not paved. It is beautiful old brick roads. The doors are very ornate. 
Uh, looks like the the bottom of the building is up about two feet. May may have had uh, water damage in the past. Absolutely gorgeous structures. And this is St. Bartholomew's Cathedral in the main square. And it looks like they have a uh, Christmas market open at the same time. Very excited about that. Pilsen is the third largest city in the Czech Republic. It's Czech, yes. Okay. Czech. Yeah. Typical Czech. <laughs> I'm going to walk around, but I may come back. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs>
yes.